Let's review the Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp. First things first, let's look at the program overview. The Full Stack Cybersecurity Bootcamp actually has two schedule options, one for a part-time learner and one for a full-time learner, which right off the bat gives you that flexibility if you're someone who is looking for a full-time bootcamp or if you're someone who is a full-time student or you're working full-time. And we'll be diving deeper into the differences between the full-time and part-time schedule later in this video. The Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp is also fully online and is highly rated with a 4.8 star rating on Course Report and Career Karma. This is personally something I always look for when I'm reviewing cybersecurity bootcamps. One of the most important things to focus on is the cybersecurity bootcamp rating, as well as learner reviews to get an inside look on what the actual experience is going through their program. The Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp itself is for learners of all skill levels, which means it's beginner friendly, so you can come in with zero IT or cybersecurity background. Full Stack Academy has over 10,000 plus alumni and counting, with over 10 years of education experience, and the Cybersecurity Bootcamp has been running for over four years since 2019. They offer an immersive learning experience where you get to work on hands-on labs, cybersecurity projects, as well as access to career resources for when you're ready to start applying to your first entry-level cybersecurity job. So now that we've covered the overview of the Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp, the curriculum also covers certifications and courses, which is another thing that I was pretty impressed with, specifically with the scope of the certifications and courses. They'll be preparing you for your CompTIA Security Plus certification, your AWS Security Essential certification, the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner certification, as well as the AWS Certified Security Specialty certification. So that is a lot of certifications that this bootcamp is preparing you for. And because some of the courses focus specifically on cloud, this may be another reason that this bootcamp works for you if you're interested in going into cloud security, and even more so if you're interested in working with AWS technology. Having these beginner cybersecurity certifications on your resume is going to really help you stand out when you're starting to apply for jobs on top of having the full stack cybersecurity bootcamp experience on your resume. Personally, I think this made the biggest difference when I was applying to cybersecurity jobs when I had my Security Plus certification, which not only helped me prepare for my cybersecurity interviews going into my previous security analyst role, but it also helped me stand out along with the other cybersecurity projects and skills I had on my resume. And as a beginner in cybersecurity, these are the things that matter the most that really set you a cut above the rest. So setting for a beginner level of cybersecurity certification is going to be one of the key things that you can do for yourself as you're starting out. The CompTIA Security Plus exam prep plus voucher is over a $2,800 value, as well as a $700 value for the AWS Security Essentials exam voucher and prep. I do want to note that the cost of the exams for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification and the AWS Certified Security Specialty Certification is not included as part of this bootcamp, while the exam vouchers for the Security Plus and the AWS Security Essentials is. Let's go into a curriculum deep dive. This is really going to be one of my core focuses because this will give you an idea of the skills that you'll actually be learning during the bootcamp program itself. So based on the curriculum, there'll be a total of seven units that you'll be covering. Cybersecurity Fundamentals, Asset and Inventory Management, Network Systems, Programming with Python, System Administration, and then finally, Offensive and Defensive Security. Just off the bat, this looks like a very well-rounded curriculum. Sometimes you'll find bootcamp programs that focus specifically on the blue team side of things or on the red team side of things, and not every cybersecurity bootcamp will teach you coding, so I'm glad that Python is on here because oftentimes, even for cybersecurity roles, there may be times when you have to write a script, there may be times when you have to look at someone's code, whether it's a developer's or another security engineer. So even if you're not going to be coding on a day-to-day -day basis, it'll be really helpful for you to be able to at least learn how to read code and maybe have it in your back pocket for any future scripting or automation that you might be doing. And since Python is a very popular scripting language, as well as a language that is very versatile, I think this is a great starting point, even if you have no coding background. They also mentioned that they not only cover the core curriculum, but they also include labs and group exercises. You'll also take part in career simulations alongside cybersecurity training. So with the group exercises, since you'll be working on a team, I think this is great practice for when you're actually in a real world scenario of working on a cybersecurity team. 
when I was working as a cybersecurity analyst, there wasn't one project where I was working completely solo. I was usually working with another security analyst or a more senior engineer on my team, oftentimes asking for their feedback, asking for their input, or working together with them to solve a problem. Plus, this is also something that employers will be asking you when you're starting to interview about your experience working on a team or a group project or any kind of project that involves other people. So starting off with cybersecurity fundamentals in unit one, this looks very foundational, CIA triad, threats, vulnerabilities, and risks as well as virtualization. This is a great introductory unit for anyone who is completely new to cybersecurity since they're starting right from the basics. As part of unit two, you'll be learning the Linux command line, file systems, users and groups, as well as bash scripting. I think it's awesome that they're already getting you hands-on experience using the actual technology, bash scripting, and knowing how to navigate the Linux command line is going to be really helpful when you're going into an entry-level analyst role in cybersecurity. Next up is network systems. This is especially going to be key if you're going to be focusing on network security. You'll get a chance to use Wireshark, learning about the OSI model, as well as firewalls, encoding, and encryption. All right, unit four is the fun one. This is when you're actually going to be learning Python. For anyone who didn't know, Python was actually also my first coding language. Even though I wasn't the best Python programmer in the beginning, I really come to love it because of its simplicity and, and its readability, which I think is key for beginners who may not have any coding background. It also happens to be one of the best coding languages to use for coding interviews. And for my previous role as a security analyst, I did have a coding portion of my interview, even though I wasn't applying for a software engineering role and I really didn't use any coding on the job, but they still wanted me to at least know how to read code or at least understand the basics. So this is why I tell beginners, even if you're going into cybersecurity, it'll be helpful to pick up some coding skills, even if you're only going to be using it for small projects or automation, but you're most likely not going to be using it every day, unless you're specifically focusing on security engineering roles. All right, so in this unit, you'll be learning basic data structures, dictionaries, as well as the basics, loops, conditions, variables. You'll also learn regex and log parsing. Log parsing, I think, will be really relevant if you're someone who is going into the blue team side of things. But either way, it'll be a useful skill going into cybersecurity. All right, unit number five focuses on system administration. This is definitely more IT focused, but personally, because IT is one of the building blocks of the cybersecurity, it'll be really helpful for you to know how to manage Windows, what Active Directory is, group policy. These will always come up when you're having conversations with IT as part of the cybersecurity team. And it also gives you that background knowledge for the cybersecurity projects that you're working on of any IT limitations or requirements that you'll have to follow based on the project that you're working on. Many times you may find yourself on a call with the IT team trying to figure out how to move a project forward and that's when you'll really find that your knowledge in let's say Active Directory is going to save a lot of time on questions asked because you already know the basics. All right next up is Red Team. At one point in my career I was on a junior ethical hacking team but in my previous role, I was on a security analyst team. So even in my four year cybersecurity career, I was able to work in a red team and a blue team focused role. And that is why I think it's awesome that this bootcamp covers both of those areas because you never know which cybersecurity career path that you're going to end up taking. And it very well may be both. As part of this unit, you'll be covering web vulnerabilities, pen testing, the OWASP top 10, social engineering. You'll be getting some hands-on experience with Burp Suite and Metasploit as well as experience, I'm assuming, exploiting or remediating cross-site scripting and SQL injection vulnerabilities. This is definitely a great start for someone who is just starting out for a junior pen testing role or an ethical hacking role. And finally, in Unit 7, you'll be covering defensive security, focusing on log analysis, using Splunk and SIEMs, digital forensics, as well as incident response. So if you're someone who is looking to become an SOC analyst or security analyst, this is a section for you. And because you'll be getting that experience using SIEMs and Splunk, you'll already be using some of the tools that real SOC teams use in a real world scenario. So now that we've covered the full curriculum, what are the jobs that the full stack cybersecurity bootcamp prepares you for? On their website, they share a list of cybersecurity roles and salaries. And these jobs include IT help desk specialists, network or system support specialists, cybersecurity analysts, sysadmin or network admin roles, information security analyst roles, as well as network engineering and solution architect roles. As you can see, most of the salaries on this list are relatively high entry-level tech salaries, and specifically noting that these are entry-level salaries. This is another reason why cybersecurity roles are so popular and in demand right now, 
designated for entry-level cybersecurity professionals. You'll also have access to the Full Stack Academy Career Success Team who will be there to support you at every stage in your cybersecurity career. So now that we've covered the jobs that the Full Stack Cybersecurity Bootcamp prepares you for, let's go over the program outcomes, including job prospects, a deeper dive into the Full Stack Academy Career Success Team, as well as the companies that alumni get hired. Full Stack Academy has alumni at companies like Spotify, Bloomberg, Google, AWS, Etsy, and many, many more. You'll also have dedicated career support for up to a year following graduation from the Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp, where they will help you focus on growing your professional network, optimizing your resume and your LinkedIn, interview and assessment prep, salary negotiation workshops, as well as much more. Plus, you'll have a portfolio of work and projects on your resume when you start to apply to cybersecurity roles after you graduate from the Full Stack Cybersecurity Bootcamp. As part of the full-time schedule, you'll have class Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., where you'll be spending at least 32 and a half hours in class each week and 8 to 10 hours on assignments and studying. This also includes things like demos and collaborative exercises. As part of the part-time schedule, this will be for 26 weeks with classes on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You can choose which class time works best for you during the application process, and the timing of the classes are also meant to work around your existing schedule to allow you that flexibility while completing this bootcamp program. So what does the admissions process look like? It's a no-cost application and a brief evaluation to assess your skill level with a final decision provided to you within three to five business days. Again, there is no experience required for this bootcamp and it is specifically designed for beginners. So definitely don't let the evaluation or skill assessment steer you away from applying. All right, so now that we've covered everything, what is the tuition cost of the Full Stack Cybersecurity Bootcamp? The tuition cost is $13,495 and they have multiple options for financing your education. You can also find scholarship and payment options available directly on their website. The Full Stack Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp is a vet tech eligible program. Full Stack Academy has rolling admissions, but seats are limited. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can apply at the link in my description. All right, hopefully this video covered everything you needed to know about the Full Stack Cybersecurity Bootcamp, as well as a deep dive into their core curriculum. Let me know if you guys have any other questions in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. If there are any other video topics that you would like to see from me in the future, please feel free to drop them in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m., and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.